water. Dude, what a homie. He just brought us more water. That's what I need. That's what I, that's, this is the kind of... Don't forget to drink water, support. folks. This is the kind of support that I need as a caster. So we're seeing the Joker and the Wolf come out. No playing around with any other characters. You know, with these guys, it's kind of fun to see how their, like, little concentrated meta develops because they interact so much. But right now, I mean, it looks like they're pulling out of the stops. They're just going straight for, you know, their best character, they think, right now. Ooh. All right, actually does get the punish for yeah, the he, counter. He actually spot dodged afterward, expecting maybe an F-tilt or something like that. Yeah, Joker's, Joker's Arsene counter has so little uh, end lag. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's such a DLC counter. <laughs> now Larry slowly pulling ahead, breaking those triple digits here. And that's what you love to hear from a Joker man. Just spam it, not spam it, but uh, throwing out those back ears. Give me that spacing. Yeah. And Larry's actually in a really good position right now. Not only is he in the lead, but there's no Arsene to be found unless he gets a counter off. Yeah, unless he gets a really good uh, Rebels guard. I don't see Arsene coming out before the stock leaves unless Larry just really struggles to kill Void. Yeah, and with Joker, this character's so light, at a certain point, a straight hit's just going to kill. What I'm liking with Void is, like, he's not giving up that stray hit easily. He's, right. he's still playing elusive to the, to the nature that Void likes to play. Yeah. And this, again, another matchup where our sent up B definitely considerably worse than the regular up B, just because Wolf can time that down smash really, really easily. He can time that down smash, that F tilt. Yeah, a lot. There's a lot that he can do. There's a back throw. We're evening up the percents, and suddenly Void. Not looking too bad. He's got our sent on deck. He's about to be up to bat just right now. Down smash. Down smash. Ooh, really I don't close. think he got the right hit of the, uh, the up air. Back, back throw, throw. Yeah. really close. He'll just yet forward throw, maybe down throw? Yeah, that's a really he good He got Arsene up. right at that moment, too. Yeah, down throw is going to be that mix up at high percent, sends you straight up. You're usually going to be expecting a forward throw. None of them really kill unless you have that bad DI. Yeah, and there's that stray hit we were talking about, Larry just finding one opening and taking the stock. There's the grab. Fair waits for the grab. Double dash tag. Wow. Time. With so much damage. Just keep punting him. Yeah, he's at 68% just from that one interaction. Alright, but gets a little egg on himself. I like waiting to throw out the nair there. A lot of people will instantly press a button when they're coming off stage, uh, off the ledge, like jumping up with a button. But Larry just kind of crosses up his shield first, then hits the nair and runs away. Alright, so now our set's gonna be up. gone. Goes to the up throw, try to get the mix up, but Void not giving it to him. Another up throw. Yeah, I tried to go for the up throw up there, but Void immediately going away. Up tilt not going to take it just yet. But that Nair, no! Really close, though. Oh, it does the up gun. <laughs> not something you see too often, but this is scary. And there's our Sen. Uh, snipes him with the laser. Goes for a down tilt. Forward air from the ledge, Void. He's not in the worst position right now. He can die at any moment here. But if he gets in on Larry, that could be the stock. Yeah, anyone that can take the stock, that dash attack itself. Can do a lot of damage. This is hard. <gasps> that I was mean. really smart. Just barely off the mark. And yeah, Larry has gotten that two times now. Yeah, I love the idea for the runoff counter, but not quick enough. Yeah, and he's got to watch those rolls in. Larry has been covering that with up tilt. Yeah, Larry's, use, Larry's uses and coverages with the up tilt has been amazing so far. Yeah, he's just playing very, very reactionary. And, you know, with a character like Joker who moves so quickly, to see that and be successful is really impressive from Larry. He tries to go back on aggressively with an air, gonna get punished a little bit. Boy trying to call him out with that up B, but not gonna hit yet. Drive down, up air, gonna there get that is. down smash finally. Taking off that second stock, only 8% to Void's name. Yeah, and Void just has to, he has to, when he doesn't have Arsene, he has to work so hard to get the kill. Yeah, but Void is that kind of player, he's used to having to do that hard work, he's play cheek. He just has such a great mentality when it comes to smash. Yeah, and Pichu too, so many of these characters, you really have to like, get your interactions and don't get hit nearly as much as other characters do. Yeah, Void's, Void's definitely amazing. You can take any character and just spin it into his own, just do some really cool tricks and uh, combos with his own character. Yeah. Larry, he's in disadvantage here. There's the up B. Yeah, I like not going for the wall flash. A lot of low level players will just kind of go for it. So right now, Larry's still at 112%, kind of camping out this Arsene, yeah. he knows this back air is going to do it if he lands it, so. Okay, now he's good. 
That was probably the scariest part about it is like, oh, as soon as it, as soon as he gets near me, a backer's coming out, I just don't know when. Right. He can still die to things like drag down, down smash, so he's got to watch out for the fair one and whatnot. <laughs> Dash track is going to be punished. Arsene is already almost out. Yeah, he's, I mean, taken so much, he's taken so much percent in the past few seconds here. And Larry, he's going to give him the Arsene. There we go. Not going to get these F-tilts just yet. Again, rolling there, yeah. with the up tilt. That time he didn't get the strong hit. Maybe he would have killed. I'm not totally sure if it would have, though. A lot of the times you see a player roll against Wolf, Larry likes to go for it down. Oh my! That God. was sick. That Fo was, was forward throw. Yeah, yeah forward throw. Pivot cancel forward tilt. That was. That was crazy. That boosted F tilt. Yeah. Definitely not seeing that coming. Yeah, he caught Void, kind of getting a little greedy going for the ledge. Could have mm -hmm. probably held out and avoided that, but instead, you know, Larry, he's gonna take that to the bank. That's what game. That was an amazing call. On a yeah. lot of times, when Wolves go for that forward throw, they're like, "All right, I'm gonna get this tech chase." Once he hits the ground, he. Right. Let me skip out the middle, man. I'm just going to hit you. Yeah. And that forward tilt is little to no commitment as well. So if he misses that, basically it means that Void DI'd off stage, and then he gets to set up for a ledge trap anyways. And Toasty, we're going into game two. Void looked like it was super doable for him. He just has to, like, kind of... It was really just win more interactions, right? Win the interactions that matter. And he's, he's got to find his kills a couple more ways. Ways that Larry isn't necessarily expecting them because Larry seems to be privy to a lot of the things that he's trying to do. Maybe that's one of them. Yeah, I guess. Um, he definitely old yellowed that uh that dog. That was unfortunate. That was yeah. sad to see. He definitely old, yo, all right. <laughs> he definitely did that. Like you saw Larry, he kept his jump. He got shot. All right, let me jump now and go for it, Boyd. I'm not done. Yeah, he shut it down. Gets that fair into the back air, not gonna kill though. Yeah, and that was another roll in. Oh, Nair. This is big damage for Void. Huge He's really got it. Oh my goodness. He, the, the thing about Void with Arsene recently is that he hasn't been really been winning a lot of interactions. He has not been getting too much damage. He's been getting that when, you know, he doesn't have Arsene. And that's probably a lot in part to Larry Lur's defense. He's been playing really good when Arsene is out. Yeah. He tries to go on aggressively with the forward air, but not going to get punished really. I like that Void uh, put off the Rebel's Guard. Just in case. Yeah, just in case he did the Wolf Blast or tried to poke up with the up B. It would have totally filled his uh, gauge as well. Uh -oh. oh, free. <laughs> he tries to call him up with that backer, beginning dash track himself. Larry playing so patient right now, but just not finding these hits. All right, up throw. Not going to get anything just yet. Getting a little bit of damage from the guns, just poking at him. A lot of damage coming in from these guns now. But finally gets that uh, dash attack right. Looks like it was a, uh, looked like Rebel's Guard was about to fill up, so yeah. it's a bit scary. So 125% to Larry. He's gonna need to find a couple of conversions. And that dash attack has so many different hitboxes. One sends you forward, one sends you up. There's another one sends you like kind of behind, depending on if you Hard to be ready for the DI. Yeah, it's really difficult. Oh, a oh, trip the with trip. the dash attack. Barely missing the second dash attack yeah. with a down throw. He didn't react to the second dash attack not connecting, though. Oh, scooped him up. Side B, that's the first one we've seen, I think. Yeah, it's actually uh, snapping the stage with that one. And Boyd's got a considerable lead. That first stop with the guns really helped but him out. But that lead doesn't mean anything. He's gone. Where did he go? Yo, don't say don't say anyone has a lead anymore, bro. Nah, he, I'll stop. I'll he stop. got offended that's with my, that one. That's my beat. That's my beat. Back he said throw. he got a what? <laughs> <laughs> Back throw didn't even kill. I'll kill him. That's gonna, yeah. I don't know if that's kind of the angle you wanted, but he needed something. He couldn't have done it a straight angle from that far away, so he had to go up in some some capacity. So uh, Larry Low with that phenomenal stock bringing it right back. He actually read that laser, I think. Yeah, he read that laser and filled up his meter for it. That was impressive. Now, I like this uh, this play style that Larry Lurie started to go for. He's going back, he's throwing out moves, but not directly trying to fight on the Joker. Because so with the Arsene, he knows what damage will happen when it comes out. Now yeah. Joker's, uh, Joker, Arsene's basically gone. Yeah, the Arsene timing was a little bit ideal for Void there just because he got to get back to the ledge pretty much for free with the tether. But now he needs it that he's got advantage. So he's got to start building this back up, and he, he's going to need it to probably take the stop. He needs to get either lucky or he needs to get Arsene back. Gonna need a good edge guard, honestly. Yeah. Or, or a drag down up air. Yeah. Wow, he's he just hanging out. just a little too long there. 
Yeah, but the quick claw is going to swipe you out of there. Larry going up now 2-0 against Void. This, this is definitely like these last two games. Yeah, it's been 2-0, but it's like, wow. It's this could Yeah, this could be 1-1. You could tell me this is 1-1 or 2-0 Void's favorite. Yeah, this this could have gone in either player's direction. Larry is just always the one sneaking out with it. And it's unfortunate, especially with how good of a first like stock or two that Void had. But we saw that second stock. Larry exploded in with that combo. He got so much damage. He got that backer to kill like 80. Yeah, man. So, Larry Lur, he's got a considerable lead. Void's going to have to reverse 3 0 in order to make this one happen. Void's thinking about it. One of he's thinking about changing characters. Who he's thinking about going, going or if he's going to stay with the Joker. Larry Lur sticking with the Wolf. Void's looking at it. Hard reach. Okay, all right, yeah. we'll stay with the Joker. This is, I, think, I think this is the right play. It's really just going to take a lot of mental fortitude to make this one happen. Yeah, if I'm Void, I'm thinking, yes, I am down 2 0. I just need to clean up a couple things. Those games could have been mine. Let's just forget about it. Let's go into this next game. Larry already attacking on the damage. Having Joker above you is like a, it's weird. You want him above you so you can juggle him, but down guns are so good that, you know, there are times where you really can't do anything about him landing. Yeah, you definitely have to just stand to the side and like wait for it to come out. Arsen is out. Not really the time that Void wanted him to be. But what a punt. You see that DI was not looking good. If he gets this, I'm going to cry. Because that F tilt almost going to kill. Looking for a down tilt. Oh. Up smash. That killed. He disappeared. Yeah, he's gone. And that's the kind of stock you really want when it comes to Void. Just needs to make sure he doesn't die. You know what? What are you saying about me talking? Honestly, bro. Honestly, we should unplug these mics. <laughs> we might I, I think to. we should unplug these mics. It's, I'm not doing these players any good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We are even on stock two here in game three. Void attempting to climb the mountain. Larry is seeming to be a pretty big obstacle for him. Oh, I love that grab. Void's turning it up with these combos. A B attempt, not going to connect. I love that down tilt. That was such a good whip punish. But the fact that Wolf was putting out that narrow, so he low profile and just kind of slid into the DMs. Oh, oh, down guns. Immediately calling out that Wolf flash. Larry had time to hit the fair shield, realize, oh, I hit the fair, and Go then fair it. again. <laughs> That's how much hit stun that move I has. love it, bandage frames. Yeah, it's great. Showing that F tilt, but not going to be able to punish it too far for dash grab. You saw, saw Void holding shield there. Doesn't want to get uh, clipped again. Yeah, this is super ideal for Void, but Arsene is running out, but there's the back air. Who cares if you have it now? Yeah, you can put out your air all you want. I got this back airs for you. Right, great, great spot, spot. Dogs, Yeah, that was great. Wasn't yeah, able to get anything. Yeah, but unfortunately, that last match doesn't care where you are. It's going to hit you. Get up attack. Not going to connect. Great spacing from Larry. And if he had our send right now, this would be way harder. Coming back to the stage when Larry's looking for that down smash is extremely difficult. Gets that fair end of the dash tag, double kicks. Caught him out right there with that back air, but Persona comes yeah, out. Arsene. It's now I, when right now it's okay to have, because this is a moment where you can die at any point. You might as well be able to get as much damage out as possible, and our send's gonna allow you to do that. And he might even take a stock if he gets a down air here. He gets a down air, but Oh my gosh. This is definitely so close. Larry Lur, again, respecting the fact that he has this lead, but I don't care about a lead. I'll just dash tag you. Oh, I forgot this wasn't last stock. Yeah. Boy, Boy he's, he's been playing really, really well in this game. He's made some adaptation to Larry that uh, Larry's not been able to get over yet. And it's that dash tag. Oh. Damage is coming in, 38%. Yeah. It's not falling up here, not going to hit yet. Our, our set basically up. back. There's He's going to have it right here. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. Yeah, you have that 50% and you're starting to bring it back, but you're going to have to do that against a full uh, full Joker. He gets that nair. Calls him out with that back air. This is especially where it has to be important. Maybe charge that down smash. Oh my goodness, that could have been the game. Call not that back air again, but I think close. maybe a little too stale. Already at 100%. Gets that F to Larry is turning it up. I don't know what happened. Where did Arsen, Arsen saw he was getting beat up. Yeah. I don't want to be here. He Larry took stage control once and never let it go. That was that was what that was. He basically put 
almost 50% off or more. Horrid, horrid DI. He was expecting down throw, I assume? I would be expecting down throw too. He, he mixed me. Yeah. I <laughs> Let me tell you what, like, yeah, that was that horrible was, DI, but that was I. Very funny looking though. Yeah, I, I, was, I was expecting that no matter what, like, the DI was going to be hard to react to, so I don't yeah. blame him at all. Boy, going to take that. Especially, you need to you need to quell that fire that Larry had. He was he was bringing it back. He was one more mistake away from winning. Yeah, Larry at the end there really showed signs of life. But Void was able to clutch it out. And Void, this is it. You know, you've got to pull out all the stops. Don't hold anything back at this point. Yeah, you have two more games to win. Void definitely has the mental fortitude to do it. He just has to make sure what he was doing that game three. You need to keep it bad. So I believe the stage choice is town and city. Yeah, in, in, in that game, it really felt like Void was, he was winning neutral more often, but a lot of that was because he was just kind of a little bit more clean with his movement. Like he wasn't really falling into the traps that Larry wanted him to. And like in these moments right here, he's getting the maximum damage possible and he's keeping Larry above him where he can set up more opportunities. Yeah. Down throw gets the back air, 50%. Right now, Void is, yeah, putting out these wall of back airs. You need to find a way over it. Gets that double jump up here, tries to get that third one. Yeah, that would have done it. Looking for the back air, down guns. Gonna safely escort Void to the stage. That counter was some little suspect. Probably expecting the uh, dash attack, but a little too early with the read, or maybe trying to reflect a laser. Yeah, that was yeah, some. It had to have been a laser, I think. All right, he gets rid of Arsene. That's pretty good for him right now. Ooh, getting down tilt off. That was such an ugly angle, but luckily, that first up B has so much range. Yeah. It, tilt. Larry has made all of his money in this match on the ledge. Like the ledge trapping from Larry has been so on point. Yeah, he he's able to keep Boy there for so long. It's so daunting to look at. Yeah, and so. You know, if, if Void can kind of sure up the disadvantage from the ledge and, you know, get back to the stage more often, he's going to get more opportunities to play the neutral and actually, like, beat out Larry in a lot more situations. That's what's really going on. Larry is just, like, making him pay for the smallest thing. Yeah, that up smash. Yeah, a little bit of an unsafe. Shield. Yeah, that was unsafe. Been called out immediately. That joke that uh, Arsene gauge is finally running out a little bit, so Void's going to try to want to get the maximum damage he can get. But, you know, playing a patient, I understand. You don't want to run into Wolf all willy-nilly because anti-airs like that exist. Uh-oh. Gets poked with that, waiting just the perfect amount of time. He's waiting at the ledge a lot, and I like it because he's mixing up his timing, right? But Larry has been really on point with just down tilting and saying, like, hey, you can't wait that long. You've got to start doing something. Pulling him down with that grappling hook, though. Again, oh. where are you going? These back airs. This is what Void needs. Whoa. There's the stop. What a play coming in from Void, finally bringing that all the way back. Yeah, he really just started picking away at his options, and right there, Larry kind of catching the drift, the landing option, getting the up air. We are even. Game four, all on the line for Void. Yeah, gets that up throw into the fair. Larry's hoping to clo uh, close this one out with a through one. Do not want to take it with game five. Drag down. There we go. These are the One combos you'd like to see. Larry Lur finally air dodging out of it. Uh oh. This is not where you want our send. Definitely don't want to beat Larry on the edge. Probably wanted to get it back here, but gets the pair instead. Yeah, and not only is that easier to frame, he's just losing more and more our send gauge as he gets hit. This ledge trapping, like we said, from Larry is something <gasps> else. I like that low recovery from Boy, just in case Larry wanted to contest it with maybe a wolf blast to kind of catch him. Yeah, and Void suddenly, he's got the stage advantage. Oh, not able to punish the wolf flash. Snapping at him, getting a little bit of damage to uh, even things back up, even in this neutral. I think that's really important too, especially with the fact that oh, again he with did the it again, dude. The same as game one. That was, that was clean. Really, really well played from Larry. Kind of reintroducing that right at the end there. Yeah, Larry, I might have forgotten about it, but definitely a good trick to close it out. Yeah, Larry was so good at sealing out stocks. He was so good at trapping at the ledge. That he ledge really trapping. Just, he didn't let him breathe. Ridiculous. And especially once he got Arsene, if he was on stage, he was really patient. If he was off stage, he was really aggressive and keeping him off stage. So really, really good stuff to Larry. Uh, you know, he kept up 
basically the momentum the entire way. Uh, and, you know, Void, that's really difficult. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it, that's a really difficult kind of player matchup as well as character matchup to kind of just stay consistent in. Because once the wolf has seen a lot of your kill confirms and stuff like that, you start running out. Mm -hmm. And then what do you do? The wolf Larry, is ready for you. Larry's so good at just, you know, bringing out new kill confirms, all these mix-ups.